that Sunday in 2020 was the slowest Sunday ever. The dining room was not even half full. Co-owner Stacy Frango Mikolos remembers it so vividly. Now here we are, the spring of 2022, and it's as though parts of the Nugget Lobby and Restaurant have been frozen in time. The last two years, a blur. I'm getting there. Tables still set, along with coffee cups and the list of the next business day specials, including the Nugget's popular bacon and cheese omelet for nine bucks. A little history lesson here. Steve and Bessie Thomas opened the Nugget here on West Dorothy Lane in 1962. And over the years, the Thomas family opened two more golden nuggets, one on Salem, the other on Kiowe. John Thomas is one of their grandchildren, and he has wonderful memories of the time he spent sitting in the restaurant's corner booth with his grandfather. I always felt like the most important person in the world because I was beside him. The nugget was always a family affair. My first job was the golden nugget. My brother's first job was the golden nugget. The Thomas family worked six days a week. That is just what they knew. The family eventually sold the restaurant on Salem Avenue, and when his grandfather passed away, John's aunts took over the restaurants. Then in 2005, an overnight fire destroyed decades of work. 43 years, it means everything to us and the community, and it's gone. But the Thomas family rebuilt on the very same spot. Yeah, because this isn't only the Thomas's restaurant, it's all of Kettering, it's all of Dayton's restaurant. Emotionally, that was two long years, but they did it. They sold the restaurant on Kiwi to focus on Kettering. Never did they think they would face something that challenging again, but then came COVID. So the only logical thing to do was to close down and, and try to make the best of what you could. Even before the pandemic, the Thomas sisters wanted to sell the building, which seats almost 300, and open a smaller nugget. With the pandemic, people stayed home, did not eat out, and businesses struggled to find workers. The Thomas sisters kept the doors closed as they contemplated what to do next. Now the commercial real estate market resembled a bad chef's recipe. Hardly anyone was willing to mix up a new restaurant business model when tens of thousands of existing restaurants were going out of business across the country. Businesses like this lost countless amount of money that you, you can't understand and the struggles of the last couple years, people wouldn't believe. The restaurant business is in the Thomas's blood. This is what they do. So they started having family meetings. The more my family would get together and talk, the more we felt like we needed to open it, not only for our family, but, but for the community. The family said what helped them make this decision to reopen is the $1.4 million the Golden Nugget got from the Small Business Administration Restaurant Revitalization Fund. It's been a tough situation, but we knew that, that the only way to do that is to, to spend the money on being open. And so it makes it a pretty easy choice. Now crews are working to get the kitchen back up and running. They are clearing away the dust, upgrading equipment, new paint in the kitchen, and soon the dining room. A new computer ordering and payment system will replace the stacks of those old order notepads. What is coming is a fresh new look, a feel to a place countless people have told the Thomases feels like home. From people getting engaged here to people just, just reminiscing their childhood. And I went there every Sunday and I got a clown waffle and I did this and that. And, it, and it's amazing. I think one of the things that, again, the pandemic showed us is one thing that will never change is people love to break bread. When there's a place like this where everybody sees people they know and, and it's a comfort zone. What this means is John, his brother Steve, and their sister Stephanie will put together a team so their aunts and the rest of their family do not have to work so hard. You know, we want them to come up and, and be the brains that help us run it, but let us be the legs that get it done. A family rich in tradition, values, and the belief in a good old-fashioned hard day's work. For me, I can tell you that there's nothing that makes me prouder than when I hear someone talk great about the Golden Nugget, because that's my whole family's lineage. And Steve and Bessie Thomas's legacy will live on here at the Golden Nugget on West Dorothy Lane, thanks in part to the community, the place Thomas's call home. And what do you want people to feel when they walk back in these doors this summer? Family, always. Most important thing in the world.